hello everyone welcome back to our channel here we have one problem that is x equal to square root of 27 by x minus 4 minus 20 by x minus 3 so in this problem we have to find the value of x so how do we solve this problem let's see so solution so we have given x equal to x equal to square root of 27 by x minus 4 minus 20 by x minus 3 so apply squares on both sides so now it will be x square equal to here square root square root get cancelled then we will get 27 by x minus 4 minus 20 by x minus 3 so x square equal to so here 27 times x minus 3 minus 20 so 27 times x minus 3 minus 20 times x minus 4 so LCM x minus 4 times x minus 3 so now x square equal to so 27 times x 27 x minus 27 times 3 which is equal to 81 minus 20 times x 20 x so minus 20 times 4 so 80 so here minus minus it will become positive so plus 80 so divided by so x minus 4 x minus 3 so now x square equal so 27 x minus 20 x which is equal 7x so here minus 81 plus 81 which is equal to minus 1 so x minus 4 times x minus 3 so here so here 1 is there by 1 so now we will do cross multiply so now it will be x square times x minus 4 times x minus 3 equal to 7 x minus 1 times 1 so now just multiply these two terms then we will get x square so x times x which is equal to x square and x times minus 3 minus 3x so minus 4x so 4 times 3 which is equal to dual so here minus minus it will become positive dual equal to so 7x minus 1 times 1 which is equal to 7x minus 1. So now x square times x square. So minus 3x minus 4x which is equal to minus 7x plus 12 equals 7x minus 1. So now multiply these two terms. Sorry. Divide by x square on both sides so here x square x square cancel so x square minus 7 x plus 12 equal so here 7 x by x square minus 1 by x square so now here x, x get cancel so x square minus 7 x plus 12 equal 7 by x minus 1 by x square so now move this term to the so move this term to the left side now it will be x square minus 7 x plus 12 minus 7 by x plus 1 by x square equal to 0 so now so write this term together so x square plus 1 by x square so here 7x minus 7 by x is there so write these two terms together minus 7x minus 7 by x so now write this term here 12 so see here x square plus 1 by x square so in these two terms we have common that is 7 so we are taking out minus 7 as a common now here we will get x my x plus 1 by x plus 12 equal to 0 so here so 
so here we have x square plus 1 by x square so a square plus 1 by a square equaled a plus 1 by a whole square minus 2 so this is the formula so this is the formula so apply this formula here we can write so x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 in place of this we are writing this form so x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 so now write this term minus 7 times x plus 1 by x plus 12 equal 0 so now x plus 1 by x whole square so here we have minus 2 and plus 12 so plus 12 minus 2 which is equal to 10 so minus 7 x plus 1 by x so 12 minus 2 which is equal to plus 10 equal to 0 so now now let us consider m equal to x plus 1 by x so now in place of x plus 1 by x we will write m so now it will be m square minus 7 m plus 10 equal to 0 see see here so now we need to find the factors of 10 so 10 factors of 5 times 2 is equal to 10 so we can also write minus 5 minus 2 equal to minus 7 so same as we can write 5 minus 5m minus 2m equal to minus 7 so in place of minus 7m we will write minus 5m minus 2m so m square minus 5m minus 2m plus 10 equal to 0 so now in these two terms we have common that is same so we are taking out m as a common so here we will write leftover numbers that are m minus 5 so in these two terms we have common so minus 2 so now here we will get m minus 5 equal to 0 so m minus 5 m minus 2 equal to 0 so split these factors as two parts one is m minus y equal to 0 and other one is m minus 2 equal to 0 so from this equation we will get m equal to 5 from this equation we will get uh, m equal to 2 so here we got uh, m equal to 5 m equal to 2 so we are already consider so that m equal to x plus 1 by x so just recall the value of m so m equal x plus 1 by x so, so in place of m we will write x plus 1 by x equal 5 so here x plus 1 by x equal 2 so first we will leave we will see this equation so x times x x square x square plus 1 so x y x so x so write this term to the this side now it will be minus 5 x plus 1 equal to 0 so this is quadratic equation so here apply quadratic formula so that is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so now write the values of a b c so a equal to 1 b equal to minus 5 and c equal to 1 so just substitute the values of a b c in this in this formula then we will get x value so what is the value of b minus 5 so plus or minus square root of minus 5 whole square minus 4 value of a 1 and value of c 1 so divided by 2 so x equal here minus minus it will become positive so now it will it will be plus 5 plus or minus square root of 
So 5 square which is equal to 25 minus 4 divided by 2. So now x equal 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 4 which is equal to 21 divided by 2. So here we got 5 plus or minus square root of 21 by 2. So split this solution as two parts. One is x1 is equal 5 plus or minus square root of 21. Sorry. 5 plus square root of 21 by 2. x2 equal 5 minus square root of 21 by 2. So coming to this equation x plus 1 by x equal to 1 so x times x which is equal to x square plus 1 so x times 2 2x so x square so write this term to the left side now it will be minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 so as you can see so this is the complete square so complete square equation so a square plus 2ab plus sorry minus 2ab plus b square equal a minus b whole square. So a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to a minus b whole square. So, whole square. so here a equal to x and b equal to 1. So you can see here. So, a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, this is complete square. So, in place of a square minus 2ab plus b square, we will write a minus b whole square. So, now it will be x minus 1 whole square equal to 0. So, now apply square root on both sides. So here square root square root get cancelled x minus 1 equal to 0. So x equal to 1. So here we got x equal to 1. So we got x1 equal to 5 plus square root of 21 by 2. x2 equal to 5 minus square root of 21 by 2. x3 equal to 1. So let's verify. Let's verify with this value. So let's verify with this value. X equal to 1. So x equal to square root of 27 by x minus 4 minus uh, 20 by x minus 3. So here x value is 1 equal to square root of so 27 by x value is 1 minus 4 minus 20 by 1 minus 3. So 1 equal square root of 27 by 1 minus 4 which is equal to minus 3 minus 20. 1 minus 3 which is equal to minus 2. So now 1 equal square root of so 27 times minus 2 which is equal to minus 54. So here 3 times minus 3 times 20 which is equal to minus 60. So divided by. So minus 3 times minus 2 which is equal to 6. So 3 times 2 6. Here minus minus it will be positive. So 1 equal to square root of. So minus 54. So minus minus it will become positive 60 divided by 6. So 1 equal square root of so minus 54 plus 60 which is equal to 6 by 6. So here 6 6 get cancelled. 1 equal square root of 1. So square root of 1 which is equal to 1. So 1 equal 1. So this is true. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe for more videos. Thank you and take care. Bye. See you in the next video.